Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's been six months since I last posted on here. Um, I have been very busy and that is basically why I wanted to start up my channel again just because I feel like me and Bali are really on a journey now whereas before I felt quite stuck and I wasn't really doing much like I wasn't getting lessons wasn't I wasn't progressing very much so I felt like my videos were getting very repetitive because I was just doing the same thing every day and that's why I stopped posting eventually because it just got really boring for me um <laughs> even though I do absolutely love making YouTube videos it just I just felt like it, I wasn't getting anywhere and I wasn't really doing much it was like the same hack and like there's only so many times you can video yourself mucking out a bed you know um <laughs> so to sort all my problems I ended up moving yards um I absolutely loved the yard I was on with Bali it was such a nice yard with so many nice people but I couldn't ride in the school I just didn't like it and it was just the same hack every single time um, so I've moved to a new yard with amazing facilities, which is so much closer to my house as well. Um, the price is a lot more. We'll go over that in a bit. Um, <laughs> but it's been so worth it. I've been there now for nearly, I think about a month and a half to two months. Um, just settling in and like learning new things. Like I'm getting lessons every week now. Like it has been really, really good for me to be there and good for Bali as well. Like she's absolutely loving it. Yeah, so I just wanted to do a little video going over what's changed since my last post and do a little Q&A, um, which I did over on Instagram the other day. Um, yeah, so I would just love to get you all up to date on where we're at so we can carry on mine and Bali's journey on YouTube, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. But I just felt our, like our journey had sort of like hit a wall, like I wasn't really getting anywhere with her. So now I'm doing stuff all the time I'm riding all the time learning new things getting lessons so it's really exciting time for me and Bali so I feel like this is the perfect time to start up my channel again and um yeah we can just follow mine and Bali's journey which is just gonna be so exciting just like just to sort of document like what we get up to and like our progression with our like riding and stuff like that yeah so I'm just really really excited to start up this channel again if you follow me on TikTok, then you'll probably, you'll be very up to date with everything that's gone on because I have documented the whole thing on there. And if you want to go and check that out, here is my TikTok username. So go and give us a follow if you haven't already. Um, I post on that all the time and on my Instagram as well. This is my Instagram, so go check that out too if you haven't already. Um, yeah, so a lot of things have changed. Um, obviously I'm blonde, if you haven't seen me since my last video, I was brunette and now I am blonde and I am loving the blonde life. It is just so me, I feel like this is definitely the colour I'm supposed to be. <laughs> um, another thing is I got a new car, I absolutely love it, I got a little 4x4, four four, um, because obviously one day when we get the trailer finished I will need something to tow it, so that's why I got myself a new car. I absolutely love it, it's the cutest little thing, I will show you, a, I'll just insert a little video of my car here for you to see. <laughs> um, also, obviously I've just said I've moved yards, that is the biggest change and it has been the best thing I could have done for me in Bali. Um, we are just having such a great time, like I'm getting lessons every week now. Um, obviously before I moved Bali I never really thought about doing any show jumping or dressage or anything like that. But now I've moved yards and I'm getting lessons. I am dying to do dressage, I'm dying to do show jumping. Um, a few weeks ago they put on like a little, a little show jumping day, like a little fun day at the yard. And I've never done anything like that. I've never ridden a course of jumps in my life. And I don't know if Bali has, but um, we gave it a go anyway. We didn't do a jumps, we just did poles. So it was like, it was basically just running the course and there was one little jump. Um, I'll insert the video so you can give it a little watch, but it is on my TikTok as well. And do you know what? It was just the best day ever. And considering we'd never done it before, we ended up going first, which I just, Oh, I I was so proud. Like that was like a proud parent moment for me. Um, it was so much fun, and it was it was just really nice to take part in something like that. And that's just one of the things that is so good about this yard that they they do little things like that for everyone. And 
like the facilities are just amazing and to be able to ride in a school now as well which I'd never really done like I'd done it the first few weeks when I moved when I first got Bali and then it just I didn't really I really didn't like it, it I found riding the school really stressful because I just really wasn't sure what I'm doing I've never really schooled any horse properly so um yeah I didn't really know what I was doing and I just found the idea of getting lessons that are pointless because the school was just or it was just awful like to be honest but um <laughs> it was that was like the the biggest downside of that yard that and the, and the smell from the cows <laughs> um yeah so that's that's definitely like a, such an amazing thing for this yard there's so many like opportunities it's really opened my mind to like wanting to learn new things and do new things with Bolly which is so exciting for me and for Bolly as well she absolutely loves jumping since then I've done one um jumping lesson and she absolutely loved it it was so much fun and we jumped our first course with proper jumps <laughs> so I'll insert a video of this too whilst I'm talking so you can just have a quick watch of that too um I I really really did love doing that and it's so much fun um at the moment we're mostly working on flat working on our flat work and schooling in the school because obviously it's not something I've ever really done so now I'm getting weekly lessons in schooling and um just getting her just getting like more control with with like my riding in the school and um, we've done a couple of hacks the hack in here isn't as good so obviously that is a bit of a downgrade and I don't have my own tack room anymore so that is another bit of a downgrade there but everything else is just so much better and I'll be posting a um a <laughs> I'll be posting a yard tour next and um, that'll be my next video that I'll be posting and and then after that I'll be posting twice a week I'm really gonna I am really gonna get into this YouTube design because I'm I've got so much to show you and I just really want to document like my man and Bali's journey through videos and I just if you want to join us so that's everything that has changed in the last six months um but obviously the last two months I have been at the new yard and I've just been settling in um getting lessons and just really really enjoying myself i have i have been posting on tiktok pretty much every day so if you haven't seen them like maybe go and check that out if you want to like it's up to you so i just thought i'd do this little catch-up video so i can just start posting from now <laughs> and then uh, we can all just like then we can just keep up to date with where i am and we can watch our little journey and watch me and bali progress and learn how to ride not that I don't know how to ride but like learn how to ride properly <laughs> like disciplined um yeah it has been really fun it's been hard it has, it has been hard learning to ride like disciplined is difficult but I feel like we're really getting it now and I'm, I'm really really starting to enjoy myself so yeah it's a, it is it is it's been a big change and a big change in like the way I ride and all all sorts like that because like usually I just get on and go and just have a nice little hack around the village whereas now like I'm actually having to like walk into the school like I'd never even cantered Bali in the school before I moved to this yard uh, it was just something I couldn't get her to do like it, it was a, I think it was more of a mental block for me than anything and she is quite green so when I ask her to canter sometimes she does like buck into the canter but she has stopped doing that sometimes she'll do it and then like most of the time she won't now and um yeah it was just I, I when I first moved to this yard I went into the school and I was just like walked around for about five minutes and then just got off because I had no idea what the hell to do and I was like how do people spend hours in the school just riding around in circles but now I am finally starting to understand that and I can easily spend about 40 minutes in the school whereas like a, like a couple of months ago I had no idea what the hell I was doing um I've been looking at some show gear as well because I am really 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 tempted to do some uh dressage in the next month or so um there is one an unaffiliated one just down the road from our yard that I can hack to um and that is on the 31st so I'm really really hoping to get to that so I need to order some show gear here um because I don't have anything like that so I need to get literally everything like I need a pair of breeches a jacket a shirt a stock I need a new hat silk to match the jacket yeah so I've got to get all of that so yeah, it's very, there's a lot going on. It's just so exciting. And that's why I really, really am so excited to start my YouTube channel again, because it's just such a nice way to like document our journey and 
and what we've been getting up to so I thought I'd do a little Q&A just to go over like a few things that people want to know. I get quite a lot of questions over on my TikTok and my Instagram so I thought I would answer a few of them on here. The first one is how much does owning a horse roughly cost a month? Now at my old yard it would cost £35 a week. I was on DIY but they did turn out during the week so that was at the time was absolutely perfect for me and um, it was £35 a week and then it was that's for the stable and the, and the field and then in the winter it would be £17 a week for haylage and then um I think it was £7 a bale for straw because I, I was on straw at the time um, and I would probably have two bales a week so <laughs> all that together is probably I think it was probably about what is that about a 65 about something like that um yeah so it was probably about 65 pound I think something like that um and then obviously your feed that's around 30 pound a month and then you've got to get their shoes done which is about obviously a lot of some people don't have shoes but like I have two fronts on Bali so she gets hers done every six to eight weeks and that is 45 pound every time um but on my new yard <laughs> it's a little bit more expensive like it's not crazy but so and then my on my new yard it is the, I'm on part livery so that is turn out bring in um like rug changes and whatever and um and I get one bale of shavings a week included in that and the haylage as well and the hay um so that's all included um so I just have to go down there muck out do a water do a nets um, and ride like I don't need to turn out or bring in which is which is quite handy like I do enjoy not having to do that <laughs> but I do have to poo pick the field now which is oh I don't I don't love that I do hate that to be honest but you gotta do it you gotta do it there's only two horses in the field so it's all right it's not too bad and like the the other girl the other horse's owner she does it every other day and then I do it every other day as well so it gets done every day so it's it's usually around you know one wheelbarrow a day like it's not it's not too bad um, so the part livery at the yard I'm on now is £380 a month and um, extra bedding. So if you need in the winter, you probably need more than one bale of bed in a week. It's £7 a bale for the shavings. And then obviously the shoes, again, £45 per like six to eight weeks. Um, and then the horse insurance, that's £35 a month for me. And then the feed, again, that's £30 a month. So all together at the moment it's it's going around why did I <laughs> wait just let me have this up right <laughs> I've added it up now that uh, that a month is around 490 <laughs> yeah so it's it's not too bad I know a lot of places that do part livery with such good facilities as well like it is usually they can be much more expensive I, apparently that is really isn't that bad um according to my tiktok because <laughs> i put a video up and people are like oh i pay way more than that and i was like well <laughs> lucky me then i suppose <laughs> um yeah so that's not too bad i am able to afford it which i am really lucky for like you know i've got a good job and i'm able to afford it um yeah so it's, it's definitely been worth it and then i pay oh i also pay 15 pound a week for lessons as well which is really really good kieran he works he runs the yard and he also does lessons and he only charges 15 pound for an hour so that is also pretty lucky as well um and we are learning so much of him so i am i am very very lucky for that uh, the next question is how many hands is barley a lot of people ask this i think because in my videos I make her look so big. Like, I'm only five foot two, and when I stand next to her, she literally towers over me. She has sixteen hands, so she is she is quite big, and she's like built like a tank too. So, yeah, she does look absolutely massive in pretty much all of my videos. Next question is, when did you get Bali? Um, I got Bali about a year and six months ago. I got her in December twenty nineteen. Um, I brought her over from Ireland. Um, unseen. Um, which was absolutely fine. Like if you trust the seller then go ahead like you know there's no reason why you shouldn't the seller was so lovely and she sent me so many videos of Bali like her temperament her being ridden like her being tacked off and everything like that and I just really did I just had to trust that she was she was a genuine person and luckily for me she was like I know a lot of people have had like nightmare stories with um <laughs> nightmare stories with horses turning up and them being like nothing like what they were advertised but Bali is absolutely 
what what she was advertised as if not better like she is just perfect in every single way and I just love that horse to death <laughs> so I have been really really lucky with that and the woman I bought her off is so nice and she always like checks up and like comments on all my posts and stuff which is dead sweet um next question um oh, this is the same person they've asked um how long have I been riding for and what was my most painful fall um I've been riding on and off since I was 16. I had lessons when I was tiny, um, but I, I wouldn't really count them. Um, but then I did. I stopped riding for about 10 years and then I got my first horse when I was 16 and started riding. I basically learned to ride. I got on her again. And you know, it was absolutely amazing. I've been riding on and off since I was 16. I'm 23 now, 24 this year. And yeah, I've been riding, riding pretty much ever since. And do you know what? It's been great. And I've only just started having lessons now. So like, and I'm learning like a whole new way of riding, which is really quite, it, it's really quite interesting actually. Like I've been riding for obviously since I was 16. And there's so many things I just didn't know or didn't understand, which I'm like learning now, which is really quite exciting. <laughs> um, what was the next? Oh, my most painful fall. Um, that's a difficult one actually because I've had I haven't had many falls to be to be honest but um probably my most painful one I was riding my ex race horse my my first horse and I didn't re I didn't I didn't realize that she was lame but she was absolutely fine like and she just it was the first time she ever threw me off and she just decked me like she just threw me I went I like flipped over her head and just landed straight down on the ground on my bum and I my bum was bruised black for so long I, I wouldn't even say it was that painful but it was it was probably the most dramatic like um and there was another time I fell off her as well when we were galloping on the gallop track and she swerved up because someone had moved a jump onto the track and she swerved out the way and I just swung around her neck and landed in front of her but she managed to jump over me and the only thing that was injured was my pinky nail <laughs> so I haven't I've had a few like interesting falls but nothing too painful i fell off bolly literally oh my god i fell off bolly a couple of days after i moved to the yard which was so embarrassing i've only fell off bolly maybe like three times the whole time i've owned her once because she fully just tripped over and i fell over her head and then another time she ran me into a tree <laughs> I don't know what was going through her head there, but she was just determined to get into this field. And I just swerved. We were in Kansas. I just swerved her back and then we just ended up heading for a tree and she just slammed on. I just went straight over and it was on a hack. That was the first time I'd ever fallen off on a hack and it was just so scary. And then I couldn't even get back on. This old man ended up helping me and like put me back onto the horse. And I was like, thank you, like crying my eyes out. But <laughs> um, other than that, like I've never, I've touched wood. I've never actually really hurt myself whilst um whilst falling off like praise god I never do but yeah I fell off Bali a couple of days after I moved to the yard because she was being she was being a little tit not gonna lie and I I've always struggled with mounting Bali in a school outside the school she will literally stand there all day and let me mount it like she's just an absolute angel but take her in the school and she just gets really like tense and I was ma I was getting on at this and she'd been fine like the first couple of times I'd take her in the school in the new yard and it was about the third time I'd been in there and I I had my foot in the stirrup put my other leg over and she just took out took off from underneath me and I landed on her bum and I was trying to pull myself onto the saddle like trying to get her to stop and she just bucked and I just went straight off onto my head and I <laughs> that hurt that did actually hurt quite a bit but um yeah that was just more embarrassing than anything i just like got all the room just got back on like <laughs> trying to not cry in front of absolutely everyone on this yard it was very embarrassing for me that <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm over it i'm over it <laughs> um would you like to do any small competitions with barley now do you know the funny thing is before i'd moved to this yard i'd never even given compete in a second thought like I'd only ever do like fun shows and stuff like that but I'd never really thought about doing it with Bali because I just wasn't where I was there was I was just wasn't inspired in the other yard like I, there was no inspiration there for me um 
so since moving to this new yard and we did that little show jumping day which was so much fun and I won and I got a little rosette and that was it then I was like oh my god I want to compete <laughs> only in little fun shows so I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing some unaffiliated dressage soon hopefully um and then obviously once we've started doing proper jumping lessons that's when I will definitely start trying out some show jumping like 100% like I really really want to do that um, the main reason I moved Barley to this yard is because I really want to jump with her um, and I've never really jumped so it's like that is going to be something like it is going to be tough to learn I think um, obviously because we have got like, your confidence as well and you're like jumping is scary like that we had that jumping lesson the other week and it was it was fun but it was scary um, and they've got a on the yard they've got a um, a gallop track all the way around and they've got cross country jumps so I'm like that that was like the one of the main reasons why I wanted to move to this yard because I was like oh can you imagine how fun that would be just to be able to do that we're not there yet but one day we will and then in the in one of the fields as well they've got a um I don't know how you describe it they've got like big wooden jumps like is it inventing cross country I don't know one of those they've got some big really cool jumps in the in the field so I'd really like to try that as well sometime. Not yet. <laughs> I'm not yet yet, but I'm trying to get my flat work sorted first before I like get back at, get like into jumping. So yeah, that was like that is one thing that we're really enjoying at the minute. And so yeah, definitely I, I definitely do see myself doing some small competitions with Bali. I think it would be really, really fun. I think I'd really get into it. Um What do you hope to do with Bali in the future? Yeah, again, it, uh, definitely dressage, show jumping. And I would like to try cross country. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd do any like cross country competitions, but I think to be able to go out and go to a farm ride and just have a fun day out like that would be really, really fun. Um, yeah, that's it. That is, that is where we're at at the moment. How did I find Barley? I've kind of gone over this already, but yeah, I found her on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I found her on Facebook. I've, I just joined this random page. I wasn't even expecting to buy a horse so soon, but um, I'd found a yard that was... I found the yard that I've moved her on to and it was so cheap and I was like oh I will be able to afford it because I didn't want to buy a horse until I knew I could actually really afford the horse but to also have a life as well because last time I had a horse I just really found like I couldn't afford to do everything which is just it just wasn't enough like it just wasn't enough for me but at the moment um, I moved Barley to this yard and I literally don't want to do anything else other than be at the yard so I don't really think that's an issue anymore but um yeah I found her on Facebook and she was on this site I was on a random like Facebook horse sell site which I don't even think they're allowed anymore I think they are banned all these um and, but everyone was advertising their horses on there and I was actually looking for a gelding and I didn't really want a dot coloured horse because I didn't want anything that looked too much like my old horse um and she was like a dark bay x racer so obviously Bolly's very different but uh, yeah I wasn't looking for a mare because my last horse was a mare and she was a mare and when I like serious mare she was just so grumpy and I just wanted a something that was gonna cuddle like I'd be able to cuddle and I, would, I wanted something that was gonna love me back so yeah um that's why I ended up with Bolly <laughs> no she um I've seen the post and and her pictures and she was just gorgeous she was just this fluffy little all oh, little baby and I was just like oh my god she is the one and I messaged the woman and she was and I, I was in shock because she was in my price range and I was like that is it I am having this horse get her to me now and the next week I had her <laughs> which is just insane it just happened so fast and I was like oh my god I wasn't even supposed to be getting a horse yet uh, but it was just meant to be everything just fell into place I really was not expecting to find the perfect horse but I did I was so lucky I, I really did find the perfect horse so yeah I got really lucky there so I feel like I've gone over pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video today and I feel like we're all nicely caught up with where I'm at and what I've been doing for like the last six months um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and if you've got any more questions like feel free to ask um, yeah go and check out my Instagram I post on there pretty much every day and my TikTok as well I'm always posting on there too I'll leave my usernames here um, I'm so excited to start posting again and sharing my little journey with you guys thank you so so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time